I had the belief, like most of us do when we start trading, is that all I had to do was find the right indicator or the right trade or the right trading service. And I thought that that would solve all of my troubles. As a result of that thought pattern, you know, I tried many, many different types of trading. I tried following other people's trading rules. I tried creating rules that worked flawlessly in back testing. And I even tried uh, alert services and trade alongs. And yes, I, I, through that process, I did have periods of success. But every single time, the market eventually changed. And whatever trade or service I was uh, following, they had these periods of failure. Right, uh, sometimes substantial inconsistency in what I was getting for results. Which, when I think about it now, now that I'm more experienced, that makes perfect sense because now I understand the extent of variables that the market can throw at you. But at the time when I was new, this insight was shocking. I mean, how could it, this strategy or alert service that did so well in the past or did so well back testing or had this certain track record, how could it fail? But it did, right? One thing after another that I tried continued to fail repeatedly. And the reality is that you can't argue with the facts. Realize that for the most part, things that worked well in the past uh, on back tester these things are fitted for the past. And also realize that the future at some point will very likely be different than the past, which will inevitably lead you to different results. Therefore, you can't simply rely on a trade or an indicator if your objective is consistent profits. Because in order to get consistent profits, when things change, you need to be able to change and recognize uh, recognize those changes and uh, change as well, right? You need to be able to adapt to those changes. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you end up in this loop of trying the next trade or the next trading service again and again, where in the end, you know, you have a lot of new information, but you're really no further along than you were when you started. The thing that did it is when I finally accepted that there was no set of trade rules or there was no alert, alert service that was going to allow me to sit back and rake in the money consistently for reverence of the future. It simply didn't exist. That holy grail didn't exist. And I had to really internalize it. And I realized that I was going to need to learn when certain things were the right thing to do and when certain things were the wrong thing to do. You see, I get a lot of questions when I'm teaching students about broken wing butterflies and trading. Is it better to have more narrow wings or wider wings? Is it better to put a vertical here or a vertical there? Is it better to be closer to expiration or further expiration? There is no one right answer to that question. Everything depends on context. And finally realizing this and starting to pay attention to the context is really where my trading turned around when I was willing to make those decisions. On Thursday, the 13th at 1 p.m. Eastern, we have scheduled become a broken wing butterfly master. It's a class for the general public. That's going to be 1 p.m. Eastern time. 